are new math books today easier than books from the past? In this video, we're going to discuss whether newer books today are harder or easier and how they differ from books that were published in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. This video is inspired by a short email I received from a viewer here in the channel. So I'm going to start this video by briefly reading their email and doing my best to answer it. I've already read this email and I do have an answer, but I don't think my answer is great. So if you have better advice or other advice for this person, leave a comment in the comment section below. So the subject is 1960s vintage elementary school math texts. So this is specifically about you know, basic mathematics, what's being taught in third, fourth, and fifth grade. So really, really basic math books, pre-algebra, algebra type stuff. I have been an elementary school classroom volunteer for 14 years and am increasingly frustrated with modern textbooks. That ain't the way I learned it 65 years ago. Are you aware of any sources of 1960s vintage 3rd, 4th, and 5th grade texts? I am looking for ways that will help students in ways that are not being addressed in curricula like the current Eureka Math program. It seems like we used we, it seems like we used to have many more practice problems for homework. Now students get one or two problems on a Terra workbook page and no homework and they are just not getting the repetition needed to build proficiency before moving on to the next topic. The lack of basic math facts proficiency is a game ender for long division and with working with common fractions. Any suggestions that you have would be appreciated. I watch a lot of your YouTube videos and have purchased physics and calculus texts that you have reviewed. Well, first let me say thank you uh, for your email and I'll leave uh, their name out of it just in case they don't want their name being said on the internet, but they didn't say it, but I'll leave it out. So when it comes to advanced math books, let's address that first. So for example, if you're looking at like abstract algebra textbooks, like newer ones, and you're comparing those to older abstract algebra textbooks, it's pretty much the same. I mean, it's the same content. The presentation is just as rigorous. You might get some of the newer books where they make a little bit of extra effort sometimes to explain things a certain way, but for the most part, abstract algebra is abstract algebra. The proofs are the proofs and the rigor is needed. Same thing in things like analysis and functional analysis, measure theory. In those harder classes, when you look at the old books, you're gonna get a lot of similarities with the newer books. When you take a step down in level and you come down to say like calculus, if you compare the calculus books that are being used today in colleges with the calculus books that were used in the past, you'll notice that today the books have a lot more applications and a lot less derivations. As a concrete example, if we take the book by calculus written by, the book Calculus written by George B. Thomas. This is a book that has been reprinted, I think 13 times, and it's called Thomas Calculus now. So the newer edition of the book is great. It's been revised, it's got great pictures and graphs and explanations, but it does have less derivations and in turn, it has more basic examples and more applications. So th th there's a shift, there's a shift. Which one is better? I don't know, I, I like both versions of that book. Now, as far as basic mathematics, we're talking like really, really basic, like college algebra, pre-algebra, and then you know, third, fourth, fifth grade math texts. I do think that there has been a shift. You know, If you look at the older books on those subjects, I do think they're a little bit I would say harder than the newer ones. I don't know if that's better, but they are different. They are different. Now, you asked if I have a source for these older elementary math books, and the answer is no. Uh, these are actually quite hard to find. In fact, I don't have that many. You know, I have thousands of math books, and when it comes to like older school books, sure, I do have some, but they're pretty hard to find. As far as a source, most of the time I find them at state sales, thrift shops, book sales. I've gotten a lot of them on Amazon. Um, I'll leave some links if I can find anything that can help you. There's a couple workbooks that might be good for that level of mathematics that you're discussing, so I'll leave some links in the description to those super affordable workbooks that you can recommend perhaps to your students. But yeah, that's interesting about one or two problems uh, and a tear out workbook page. I've never taught 
uh, elementary school, and I'm not really, um, I guess what's the word, you know, up to par with exactly what's being taught today in elementary school, because I've never taught that. I've only taught college. Uh, but I do have some of the older books from those grades from your era. And again, they're not super easy to find. And I would say that, I mean, I'm not blown away by the books. I think they're okay. I think they're okay. I do think maybe one of the modern workbooks with more exercises might be a better choice. And that's something that you can buy cheaply today and recommend to your students. And you can look at you can look at it on Amazon. So I'll do that. I'll, I'll look for some workbooks I have. I have some like basic pre-algebra workbooks that are pretty good. And I'll leave a link in the description so you can check those out if you want. So that's my take on those old books. I don't know if, you know, I'm not, I'm not up to speed with, again, how, how much has changed. What do you all think? Has there been a significant shift in that grade level in terms of mathematics? Again, my experience is really with college and above. Uh, but when it comes to these elementary texts, I don't have that many and I've never taught that level. So what do you think? Leave a comment in the comment section below. I'm curious. But there definitely has been a shift, again, in like the calculus text. And, you know, as a, as a concrete example, you know, take your Stuart book and compare it to like the book by Apostle. <laughs> so there's a huge difference between Apostle's calculus and Stuart calculus. You know, it's just mind blowing. And again, I don't think it's because necessarily we're trying to make it easier. I think it's more of the fact that the people who write the book have shifted the topics to meet the needs of the audience, right? That's the most important thing when you're writing a book, right? Because if no one buys your book, then that's useless, right? So the books are only valuable to the people who read them. So yeah. Anyways, what do you think about all this about math books? People often say that math used to be easier. Back in the day, it used to be easier. And I, and I see... I see it especially in those calculus level books that those books used to be a lot harder. But I'm not positive about the elementary books because the ones I do have, they still seem pretty easy and they have examples. And compared to the new ones, well, I don't have that many new ones when it comes to you know, elementary mathematics at the elementary level. Anyways, I've talked a lot. Leave your comments with your thoughts. And if you want to learn math, I do actually have math courses. So you can actually take a course and learn mathematics. My courses are on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. But if you get them, please use the links from the description of this video or from my website. When you use my links, it does two things. One, it helps me greatly. And two, I've lowered the price to the bare minimum, so it helps you greatly as well. So yeah, math books, have they gotten easier? Have they gotten harder? I think the advanced ones are pretty much the same. The calculus ones have kind of shifted. And then the really, really basic ones, I, I, I don't know enough about the new ones to make a comment, but the old ones that I do have, I mean, they seem okay. I, I am agreeing with you. The older elementary texts, they seem okay. I wouldn't say they're sensational. I, ha I have better books on different subjects, but yeah, they seem solid. What do you think? Leave a comment below. Take care.